Today we are talking about the volume of cones and pyramids. And the reason we lump these together is because both of which come to a single vertex. Okay? Um, and so when we're talking about volume, we want to uh, associate it with a volume that we know. Uh, and we just realized, or realized, we, we talked about in the last video, that a prism is the area of the base times the height. And possibly we might be able to figure out an association between these and uh, a prism. So let's just pick one of these things. I've got a cone and a triangular pyramid and a square pyramid. We'll do a square pyramid. So what shape do you think we should use? Uh, we could use a cube or a rectangle, but it has to be special. Yes? Uh, I want a a square, a cube or a rectangle that has actually the same base. Let's try to to keep uh, all our variables down to a minimum. Uh, I want a one that has exactly the same base and I want it to be the height the same. So as a matter of fact I have such a shape. So there we go. Uh, this is a cube that actually has the same base and the same height. All right. Now, how are we going to compare volumes? Well, you can try to fit it inside, and that's going to be a problem because the plastic takes up takes up uh, some of the some of the volume. And so, let's just explain it on a third grade or fourth grade level. Okay. So, volume is nothing more than the amount of space an object takes up. So. The amount of space this pyramid takes up compared to the amount of space this cube takes up, and they have the same basis of it. So, what is your guess? Uh, half, uh, fourth, third? I don't know how. What's so. well, how are we going to measure it? Well, maybe we'll put something in this and compare it to that. So that's exactly my plan. So I'm going to take this pyramid and put some volume measuring device such as maybe uh, some liquid water fill it up and then okay so how many of those are going to fit in here well definitely more than one right and there's one let's do it again Ah, it looks like more than two, actually. Hopefully, you can tell that. We see that the level is, has not reached the top. It looks all right. One more time, or more than one time. Maybe, maybe not the whole thing. Oh, I better fill it up. Let's see if it overflows. Maybe it's less than three. Maybe it's something like three and some more. Oh, keep on going. Oh, can it get... In fact, it is right at three. Now, if you can, can you see that right there? As a matter of fact, I could even put the lid on this, and it just fits, fits perfectly. Fantastic. So, three of the pyramids make one cube that has the same base. Well, what do you think if it was a cone. Well, what shape would I need? I would need a cylinder with exactly the same base and a height that matches. Cylinder, same base, same height. Boom, boom. Guess how many? And you would be right. There are three of the cones that would fit into the cylinder. Triangular pyramid, I would need a triangular prism that has the same base and the same height if it was a triangular prism that one would also be three of those that fit in there so the conjecture for today is the pyramid and cone volume conjecture would if b is the area of the base of a pyramid or a cone and h is the height of the solid then the formula for the volume 
is volume is equal to one third base times height, or base times height divided by three. Don't forget to divide by three. You will be saying this uh, during the quiz. I will guarantee it. So I made an example for us. And it says, find the volume of a regular hexagonal pyramid with a height of 13 inches and, a, and base edges measuring 6 inches. Now, the reason I did this without a picture is because I want you guys to get used to drawing pictures. You've got to draw the picture. Draw the picture. Draw the picture. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to make a hexagonal pyramid. That's like a hexagon. Yes? And I should note that it doesn't matter if the pyramid is oblique or not. Right? The volume formula still works. So there's my hexagonal pyramid. Uh, I'll mark everything I know. These are 6 inches and the height is equal to 13 inches. And that's how tall the pyramid is. Oblique or not vertical from the base, the height is 13 inches. All right, a habit you should look into. Volume is equal to one third base times height. In this case, there's a formula for the base. The volume is going to be one third, and this is going to be the one half A S N times the height, and that one I know is going to be 13. Now we have to figure out what the area of the base is. So I am going to draw just the base. It's regular. Hexagon. Six inches. Every hexagon is made up of equilateral triangles. Okay? So that equilateral triangle, and what if you, okay, so I'll draw it again. What if it's six here, and I want the height of that? This is six. Oh, this is that 30, 60, 90. Once again, it will play, come into play. Three here. This it's going to be 3 root 3. Notice uh, how the, the stuff that we've already covered in previous videos is coming back, right? And if you don't pay attention to what the shortcuts are, you're making just more work for yourself. All right, so now that is going to be my apothem. Apothem, apothem, 3 root 3. Now I think I have all the information I need. Yes, uh, I've got the apothem. I've got a side length and I have the number of sides. So this is a good time to show our work and to write down everything. So volume is equal to one third times one half apothem of three root three side length of six. Number of sides in this case is also six and the height is 13. Notice I haven't used a calculator, I haven't multiplied anything out, I haven't done anything. Uh, and let's we can multiply all those numbers except for the root 3 and put it in at the end. And why don't you just use the calculator? This is, this is so fantastic. Because I can put these things, oh sorry. I can put these things in just as I've written them. One third. One third don't understand why you guys insist on doing this. You're not that good. You will make these mistakes. One half. I like mental math, but... And then times three. Times six. Multiplied by another six. Multiplied by 13. Notice I'm just leaving out the, the radical three right now because I want to write the exact answer. So it's all that 234. And then I'll put my root three in there. Right? And if I wanted an approximation, this is the good time. You could just say that multiplied times root 3. And there's my approximation. Right? 405. Uh, oh, let's, this is a good one. 405.3. If we're going to the nearest hundred, that's a zero. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Show your work. Show your work. It's going to lead to the correct answer. Okay, so here are the questions for today, the check for understanding. So the first one is a cone. 
Radius four, height of nine. Second one is a triangular pyramid. Uh, it's, I'll just leave it at that. Three is a uh, regular hexagonal pyramid with a base edges of eight centimeters and height of 12. And then an oblique cone here with seven, 22, 15 as marked. All right, good luck. We shall see you tomorrow.